very sad that that kind of thing happens. I don't know why it does, but no good deed goes unpunished. I told the guy while handing him the ten dollars, I was like, "I feel your pain," and I handed him the ten dollars, and he thanked me for it, and I walked away, got my car, and drove off. And last time we'll probably see each other. Because of that good deed, I now get punished with rain, soaked clothes, and a busted line that I have to re-rig and I can't fish now until it stops raining because unfortunately my phone is in my tackle box, which is the only location that I can think of, which is now in serious trouble because the whole pier is flooding. And my tackle box is going to take on water and <laughs> I got to lift up. Oh, dude, look at this. This is just terrible. I mean, it's like a, it's almost over my shoes. Water. <laughs> Hopefully my tackle box doesn't go overboard. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> Oh, shoot. My leader line is in my tackle box. And, yeah. God dang it, dude. We're so screwed out here right now, man. There's like nowhere to really go. Oh, shoot. And I don't think I can close my tackle box. I'm gonna try to close it. There we go. As long as my tackle box stays dry, my phone won't get destroyed. Because I mean, if my phone gets destroyed, <coughs> then I'm in serious trouble because I can't afford to buy a new phone right now. <laughs> Alright, so I think what I'm gonna have to do. I'm going to walk out to my car, which is out there, where that car is out there. And I'm going to have to try to, like, rig my stuff inside my car. That's what I'm going to have to do. My backpack is freaking soaked, dude. I can hear freaking water in my backpack. Uh, Got to wash that freaking tackle box on the fly in the water, bro, from the wind blowing. <laughs> I'm gonna try to re-rig in my car. I'll at least throw my cell phone in there. So it'll be safe from the, the rain. I'm gonna come back out here in this rain and fish, dude. <laughs> I just need shelter to, to, to uh, um, basically, holy shit, dude, look at this. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh, look at this, man. Dude, it's so... This is like walking in hurricane wind. Hey, man, look at my shoes. Dirt running in the water is what that is. Alright, I'm halfway to my car. So I'm gonna stop recording. Stop recording. Go for a stop recording. Go for a stop recording. You can see my stomach because my face is covered in it. It surprisingly stopped raining there for a little bit. 
Whew. All right, I'm gonna hide them right here. Right. So you guys can see the rain, right? I'm just gonna lay these two right here. Put this in my back seat because I don't care. I don't care about the back seat. Oh shit! Good car vlog. Hopefully my key still works. My car. And my car key is breaking. Alright, here we are. We're in the car. Alright, let me take this GoPro off my head. It's still recording. Hey, GoPro is still recording. That's good. Hi, guys. <laughs> my back seat's gonna be so. Oh, there's water in the. There's water in here. Uh-oh. Not good. I'm gonna try to grab my phone with my... Okay, my phone's good. My phone's not wet. All right. So that's good. Inside of my tackle box. Inside of my tackle box got wet. Uh oh. Um. All right. There it is. We're gonna try to re <laughs> try to re rig it. Try to re rig my pole, and hopefully the line don't break again. Oh yeah, here's my um. Oh shit! Here's my GoPro. This is my GoPro case right here. Probably can't see it at all. It's got my batteries inside of it for my GoPro so I probably won't be able to do any more videos at all sadly because the batteries are probably going to be bad. well that right there was thunder if you guys heard that I'll try to find me a sinker I think those are actually in my bag I think that's where my sinkers are they're all in my bag uh, nope here's one right here I got one one left in this bag here. Uh, it doesn't have a number on it, on what weight it is, sadly. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Man, it's hard to get in this line when it's wet through the sinker. Uh, dang it. I think the heat might have weakened my line or that fish took me around the pile and cut me off or something, man. Alright, so that's the line. I don't think you guys can see it at all. It's what I use. Oh, it's not comfortable for my back at all. Oh. Golly. Alright, yep. I don't have my clippers either. Uh, so about, maybe about two, about a foot and a half a line maybe is what I use. And we're going to run that. And this isn't meant to be a tutorial at all, guys. It's not meant to be one just for me to quickly set it up for myself to fish with uh, just to tell you what I'm doing so over in a clinch knot wow that clinch knot didn't even work for this one did it I had to cut that off that's why you get extra line yeah because when you're when you're when you're losing hooks or stuff you don't always want to lose hooks, but you know, sometimes it happens. The fish will swallow it, man. You're not allowed to keep undersized fish, so you always invest in a hook cutter, I guess, if you can reach down there and cut it out. But in Florida, if you get caught with undersized fish, then you can get fined for that. All right, there we go. Cut that tag off. Uh, now we're gonna ride that. Whoa, we don't want to 
to lose our sinker because it's already, already probably coming out of the out of the sinker as it is. So we'll grab our sinker, which has our polymer. I mean, not our polymer, but our braid. I'm an idiot today. At a, so we'll run a polymer knot. So we'll do to the swivel. And do about like that there. It's still pouring out, man. I ain't put a hook on yet because I find it's just easier to run the line through without a hook on. Got some nasty lightning out here though. Fort Myers Beach. Okay. All right, now the fun part for this one is, since I don't have my line cutters, is I don't know if my thing here is gonna be able to cut through this braid or not. Oh, nice and clean, how it did. It's just gonna leave a little bit of a tag on it. No, I don't like to leave a tag, too long of a tag on it. It's pouring now, right now, out here. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna need a hook, and I'm probably, um, I think all my hooks are in my bag, so there's a hook in my bag. <laughs> 